In this tutorial, we'll look at how to link to an external JavaScript file in HTML. All right, so I just have a simple HTML boilerplate. It's currently linking to an external style sheet. And now let's see how we can link to an external JavaScript file. So let's actually create a JavaScript file. Typically, this is called script.js. The name doesn't really matter as long as the extension is .js, it will work the exact same. And in order for this to apply to the page, we need to link to this um, from our HTML. So how do we do that? Well, in the past, what people did is they put it at the end of the body. So they would say script and then say source and then script.js. Right, the path to the script, since it's in the same folder as the HTML file, you only have to write script.js. If you need to move up a folder, you need to write dot dot forward slash. Right, or if it's in some kind of folder into uh, in this at the same level, maybe it's some kind of scripts folder, and then maybe it's in there. But here we can just write this, and uh, this is what people did for a very long time. And the reason they put it at the end of the body is because a script, if you put it like this in the head section, it will actually block uh, parsing the rest of the page. Right, so the browser will go line by line when you, when it when it first when you go to a website, it will receive the HTML file. It will go line by line. Once it gets to this line, it will sort of stop parsing the rest of the page. Um, so, so it's blocking. And so people uh, avoided that by putting it at the end of the body. Now these days we can actually, sh we can actually put it in the head and um, with the best practice, which is the following, you should use the defer attribute here. So with this, it will not block it will not block uh, parsing the rest of the page, right? And the benefit of putting it here in the head is that the browser can immediately, it, it can still, it's, it can still download this file as quickly as possible, right? So if you put it at the end of the body, the, brow the browser will only be aware of it, will become aware of it by the end of the body once it reaches the end, right? So it's going to take a bit longer to download it because it becomes aware of it later. Um, but you can just do it like this these days and it's perfectly fine, right? So it's really important that you have mastered modern JavaScript if you want to work with web development. I have a whole course on JavaScript. It only takes a couple of hours, but it will benefit you for the rest of your career. So definitely check out that course. The link is in the description. By the way, if this was helpful, I'd really appreciate it if you could like and subscribe. Also, check out my courses on CSS and JavaScript if you want to take those skills to an advanced level. Because in there, we will build some beautiful real-world projects from scratch so you can see how everything fits together and really master CSS or JavaScript. And I will also release other courses soon like React and Node.js. So if you want to be notified, then make sure you are subscribed to the email newsletter. You can find the link in the description. Thanks for watching and I hope to see you soon.